Adam, you always talk about relationship as being the currency uh, and as the currency that we all need to, to look at. I'm just wondering, you know, is personalization a fad? When I started 11 years ago, I thought personalization was all about knowing who I am and what I want. Demographic, yes. like my age, my gender, my yeah. preferences. You know, I tell Facebook I like to watch Godfather just because I think it's a cool thing for people to see about my profile. You know, it's a good movie to put out there. It doesn't mean I want to watch it now, by the way. Um, and I think demographic, you know, and like telling people who I am uh, is how we used to think of personalization. I'm just not sure that is really what it is. So I think, first of all, personalization is, um, from a definition perspective, it's about who I am right now. Yeah. And I'm different in the morning, and I'm different on the weekend. It's all about context. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's, the, it's the persona plus the context. And once you marry those two, you're able to really create a better experience for consumers. You should know that if I came from social, the right thing to do is to truncate the experience of the page, to make it a bit shorter, more snackable, because I'm in a snackable yeah. state of mind, That's right. and then start recommending me maybe other stuff. Segmentation is the key word. We segment our audiences accordingly. And if you as a publisher do that, again, you understand the value exchange for that segment the home versus if somebody's coming from uh, a Facebook type experience, they're different users. Sure. You know, getting the personalization equation correct, uh, and it's algorithm based, it's understanding behavior of users um, in certain segments and not what they tell you uh, per se. Uh, it's probably a little bit of both. So uh, what I would like to ask is how do you approach it at CBSI, the, the whole personalization? Thing? It's a process, um, and to Adam's point, it's, a, it's an investment. So it's, it's understanding from there what segment is this user in, um, and then kind of once you parse that out, what is the content strategy that's tied to that segment of user? Uh, should we provide them long form content? Should we provide mm -hmm. them short form content? Using data in terms of observation of that user for that cohort, what type of content should uh, they be exposed to? Then you look at something like Taboola that's you know, after that content, um, and they're employing you know, algorithms on their side across their entire network that they've observed of what type of content these folks like. And again, like I was saying earlier, 75, 80% of the content that's in that feed is our own content. So we're leveraging them not just as an ad company to like monetize our page, but a personalization company to use the term uh, to make our content recommendations smarter and more tailored to that individual user. It's user experience first to create the experience you want consumers to have on your site. Yeah. And then in that experience, plug it in different formats and different types of things yep. that come up so that people feel like they're home yeah. and they want to stick around. And I say stick around, I mean, another minute will be awesome. Yeah. And that's also where video is great because yep. video is time and attention. So it's, attention is really the currency in which leads to relationship, which leads to revenue per visit and revenue uh, you know, over a lifetime. We just talked about Amazon. If you compare publishers and media to the commerce world, they've been cracking the code on that 10 years ago, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right? So like if you, think, if you talk to a commerce company, a retailer, they're thinking of the consumer over the next eight months. You know, from the moment they meet that person yeah. and the entire time they're gonna interact with that person over time, and then they're able to create better experiences knowing that they're taking a long investment versus short-term monetization um, investment. And I think that's, that's, the, that's the trend. That's yep. where you put more CBS content and a good experience and try different formats. But are you also making some mistakes? Yep. Right? Like, well, that's the only way you learn. I mean, that, and that's the digital way. Test and learn, test and learn, test and learn.